Hello everyone, it's Jennifer Miller for Jesse James Beads. And in this video, we're gonna make a pair of earrings using some beads and components from the new Octopus's Garden Magical Mystery Bead Box for the month of June. We are going to use one of the connectors from the Queen Parrotfish uh, set. We are gonna use some beads from the Saltwater Kisses and some beads from the Mariana Trench. In this video, you're going to need a pair of round nose pliers, a pair of chain nose pliers, a pair of flesh cutters, and also two optional if you want a second pair of pliers for making the wire wraps. For materials, you're gonna need a head pin. I'm using a bald head pin, an ear, a set of ear wires, and some jump rings. These here are five millimeter jump rings. This gorgeous crystal came from the Mariana Trench bead mix. The first thing we wanna do is open up one of our jump rings and we're gonna open that up from front to back and add it to the crystal. If your jump ring does not wanna go through your crystal, do not force that jump ring to go through your crystal because you don't want to break it. Now that we have our jump ring, we need to go ahead and close that up and we will close the jump ring securely and put that down. Now we need to attach it to our connector and we're gonna do the same thing we did for that top jump ring. We're gonna open up our jump ring from front to back and attach it to our crystal. After we have that attached to our crystal, we're gonna to need to attach our connector before we close the jump ring. It might be easier with size six jump rings. These are size five. Now we need to make our bottom component. We are going to thread out one of our little tiny rondelles, one of the bead caps, and it's going to be face up so that we can add one of our gorgeous little crystal beads, another bead cap now face down, and a rondelle. This entire section came from the Saltwater Kisses mix. We're gonna add our chain nose pliers so that we could get a good 90 degree angle bend. We're gonna insert our round nose pliers, form over the top barrel, rotate. We're gonna push that to the back. We're going to center that loop. We're going to grab the loop not where the wires are crossing. I just lock it in place while I get my chain nose pliers repositioned. I'm gonna bring in my secondary pair of chain nose pliers and wrap around three times. After the third wrap, I'm gonna come in with my cutters and cover before I trim. Here again, I'm gonna bring in my secondary pair of pliers so that I can now tuck in that little piece that sticks out after we trim. And here we have our wrapped loop. We're gonna grab another jump ring. And as you can see, I have multiple jump rings and I do that because I could lose a jump ring. Sometimes with the pliers, they will go flying. I'm gonna attach to my component that we just made and then attach to the connector with the crystal. And we will close the jump ring. We need to add another jump ring. As when you look at the jump ring up here, it's going front to back. We need it to be going side to side so we can add our ear wire. Again, this is optional. We're gonna open our jump ring front to back. We will now insert that jump ring onto our earring that we already have put together. And then we will come in with our secondary pair of pliers and close that added jump ring. Now we have that right where we need it so that we can add our ear wire. And I just have an ear wire from my stash 
and just make sure that it's nice and secure and not going to go anywhere. This earring would be really pretty even just with having the connector and with the component down here at the bottom if you wanted to leave out the crystal. Very minimal waste. This is for one earring. And now we have the match to the pair. Again, this is using some of the beads from the Saltwater Kisses bead mix, the Mariana Trench mix, and the Queen Parrotfish enamel charm set. And now we have the match to the pair of earrings. Thank you so much for joining me for this tutorial using the new Octopus's Garden Magical Mystery Bee Box for the month of June from Jesse James Beads.